I realize many of you are busy and want just the code, so I created a short version of my video as an experiment. The long version has more descriptions and explanations as to what I'm doing. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this idea. The link to the long version is in the video description. Enjoy! Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moykins from Big Mountain Studio, and today I'm going to teach you about gradients. If we go into our view controller, let's clean up some of this existing code here. And in order to create a gradient, we first need a gradient layer. So we create that with a variable, say new layer equals CA gradient layer, right there. So now that we have a gradient layer, gradient, gradient layers have properties that help us set up our gradient. And the first property we're going to use is the colors property. For this example, I'm just going to use two colors to keep it simple. For this example, we're going to start with a UI color black. And we're going to use the CG color. That's basically the core graphics color version of the uh, of a UI color. And for the next color, we'll have it transition into a dark gray. And we want the CG color. Now that we have our layer, we also need to tell it how big it has to be, how big that layer is. New layer dot frame equals our default view dot frame. And that is basically the size of uh, the device. Now we have our new layer. How do we add it? Well, like I said, views can contain many layers. So we want to go to the layer and we want to add a new sub layer. Just like that. So this will add our new gradient on top of the existing layer. So let's take a look here. There it is. There's your gradient. It goes from black to dark gray. But notice there's something missing here, right? So I started out with this view, but where's our label? All right, this layer that we added is on top of everything else. Let's go to our view controller and let's fix that. So there's different options for controlling where the layer goes. Right here. So for this example, I'm just going to put this layer all the way at the back. And to put it at the back, we're going to just put it at index zero. All right. Now let's see if that fixes it. Oh, we don't need this anymore, so we're going to get rid of that. There it is. So now this layer is all the way in the back. All right, great. So that's the basics of adding a gradient to your UI view. But what if you want to reuse this? And what if you want to put this on other UI views? You'd have to like copy and paste this code all the time, right? But instead, I'm going to show you an easier way where you can create a designable out of this. I'm going to add a new file. It's going to be a Cocoa Touch class. So I'm just going to call this a gradient view. And we'll just put it right in the project. All right, here we go right here. And let's get rid of this, some of this code here that we don't need. I need to take this class and I need to give it an attribute called interface builder designable. And this will allow me to change that class right on the storyboard. So we need two colors. So I'll just say first color, oops, not fist color, first color. And this will be a type of UI color. And let's give it a default value to UI color dot clear. Yeah, let's just leave it like that. And we know we're going to need a second color. Okay, let's copy that, paste it, and we'll call this second color. Okay, good. So now we have two, two properties. So we need to detect when a person changes these colors. And we do that with the did set. Now, when a person sets a color, we want to be able to update the gradient. So we'll just call a common method called update view doesn't exist yet. And every time you set these colors, it'll update, it'll call this function. So let's create that function. So let's just take this code and we know we're going to need this for our second color. So we'll just add it like that. Clean up a little bit. If you hold down the command button and you go into the UI view, this is what we're going to do. See this property right here called layer class? We're going to override this because by default, it returns a CA layer class. We don't want a CA layer class. We want a CA gradient layer class. And let's override that layer class. And basically we just need the word 
override. And you want a lot of that same code that we saw inside of the UI view. See this class layer. Let's copy that. Go back, paste that in there. And it is a type of any class. It said swift.anyclass, right? But since we're in a Swift file, we can just say any class. Okay, and when this is called, it's basically just has a getter. And we're going to return, we want a CA gradient layer class, like that. And we just have to say self. Here, when I create a variable, like so, and I say self.layer, CA gradient layer. So now we just have to set the colors. Colors equals, okay. And we're just gonna use our first color and we have to convert it to a uh, CG color. And then we're going to use our second color. We have to convert that to a core graphics color, core graphics color right there. Let's see how that works. All right, there it is. We already had a first color set, so it's using that. And if we change that clear color to something else, oh, I don't know, let's make it black. There, then now you can see a smooth transition. Thank you, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing.